Yo, what is up everyone? I'm back and I'm exploring another abandoned mansion. This one is actually local to me. This one is actually only about a 35 minute drive from me and this is a full abandoned mansion and it just looks super sweet from the front. It has a full balcony up there. Just a super weird design. I'm just really excited to explore this one. So like I always say, we're just gonna jump right into this and start exploring it. So it's raining out, so I just want to get inside real quick, but they are actually just starting to renovate and they're doing some new construction on the back roof, I think, the back roof. So hopefully everything is still left inside. And I mean, we're about to find out. As you can see, there's some construction stuff on the ground. We just came in and this is the first thing we saw. There's a manhole door. It's just all filled up with the whatever was just left in there, all concrete and stuff. Look how low these doorways are. I have to like duck to go in. This is the old kitchen though. The old fridge and just everything. This is this is a tiny kitchen, man. This this just has to be like a basement kitchen or like something like that cuz this is a really small kitchen for such a big house. Surprised all the appliances and stuff are still left here. Usually kids just toss that stuff around, throw it. We still have some bowls left in there too. But we duck and get through here and we'll go explore the rest of the house. Yeah, I don't even know what this room is. This is a super weird basement, isn't it? Yeah, it is a really weird basement. So we're still in the basement and we just come across this old fridge with just all old disgusting food left inside. But the fridge itself is just super sweet. What does that even say? Trimmed in tarnish proof canyon copper. No polish needed. This fridge is actually really nice. Also just a bunch of old pottery and just pots and honestly just random stuff left behind. We're in like the dark, dark back room of the basement. I don't think there's gonna be anything over here but I'm glad we found these few things. We just came upstairs and this is the first room you go in and they have this awesome fireplace. It literally looks like pure marble and there's so much detail. It's a super nice fireplace. Right over here they have these old cabinets still holding up and everything. These curtains definitely would have been really fancy back in the day. I'm surprised they're even still hanging out. But even just like the architecture or like anything, the woodwork on this place. A lot of detail and everything. 
A lot of these old mansions have this exact doorway that I've been going to. I like them. We just found this old picture in here. I don't even really know what it is, but it's definitely cool to just see anything that's left behind, especially like pictures and stuff, because this used to be an old antique place. Look at the detail on the ceiling. This was either chandelier or something, but all the detail in this place is just crazy. And there's like five floors up over here, so this place is tall too. So we're actually at the front door, and just look at all these old locks. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Could you imagine having that on your door now? We were originally in that room over there and then we went into this foyer or just like the front room right here and now we're in another room with the same fireplace. Not much to this room, it's just left empty but at least it's still holding up and everything. Sadly there's not anything in this room either, it's just another fireplace, not as nice. But I can only imagine what this place used to look like back in the day when it was fully furnished and everything. At least they still have some of the curtains up still. The curtains were definitely real nice. You can just see how many levels there are already. It goes up that stair right there, and up, up, and up. I hate that I can't see up there right now because I'm just using this flashlight. But by my next video, you guys will see I'm buying really nice lighting for my camera. So all these places will be really lit up and a lot better quality. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully there's still a bunch of stuff left in the bedrooms. Even the wood floor has designs and stuff all around. Super nice floors, super nice staircases, just crown molding, everything. We're on the second floor, like I said, and there's still more staircases going up. They just have some sinks left behind here. Looks like they cleared out these rooms. Hopefully they didn't touch some of the rooms so we can at least see some stuff left behind. Remember that balcony on the front? Right here? Well, it looks like a window, but the way to get out is you actually just open up that door, duck down, and go outside. That is so much work just to go on your balcony. It literally just looks like a window. I'm sure they probably didn't use it that much. So we're upstairs and it's actually the same exact layout as downstairs. There's a room over here, the middle room with the stairs, and over here. All these rooms on the second floor are empty. I wanna get as much detail and what, what furniture is left behind. I wanna do in cinematic, like slow-mo shots. And there's more fireplaces and stuff in this room, but as for like this level, I think most of these rooms are clear. So we just found this old phone left behind and still hung up and everything. And I think where the workers just threw most of the stuff is in here. Just more kitchen appliances, another stove and oven, another fireplace, but not too much in this room, honestly. I'm hoping the third floor will be nice. Going up the third floor now. Hopefully there's actually bedrooms left behind. Look how low these ceilings are and for the stairs. Like you really have to duck to get up to the third floor. That's how small like people were back then. This must have been like an old what, like fire alarm or something? Yeah. Doorbell, something. Uh yeah, look, because it would it would bounce off each other. That's pretty cool. So this looks like the first bedroom up here. Like you'd have to be super small to even live in this room. These floors are super slanted with really low ceilings. This must have been the master bedroom because this is the biggest one so far. It's at the end of the hallway and it has a fireplace. So I'm thinking this was the master bedroom. I'm super mad that there's no furniture left behind because it really looked like there was after seeing the first floor. 
They're super old handles, and even the door is cut out real weird. The upstairs, this is the smallest upstairs I've ever been in. Another small room, just like every other one so far. This one is equivalent to the first room I showed you. This one is, at least the ceilings are a little tall in some spots, but this one's just <laughs> the ultra small room. Is that, what was that, a closet? It's kind of weird because the camera doesn't do it justice, but, and I've said it 10,000 times, but you really do have to duck everywhere on this third floor. I'm six foot and I really have to duck. And then this is the last bedroom. I really don't even know what I'm showing because there's nothing in here, but I figure I might as well just show everything. This is just a little closet that has absolutely nothing in it, but it's just cool. It's definitely really neat to be up here because I've never even been in a house so big yet so small at the same time. It's just a window looking out front in one of the, looks like kid's bedroom. Oh, you know where we're at right now? This is the top window that I filmed outside. This is the very top window. The little things just like this on the bottom of the stairs too just add to so much detail. Just shows how much little work was even done to this house. So I walked right past it the first time on the first floor and this is actually an old suitcase. This is definitely pretty cool. It says, what does that even say? American Tourister. It's a pretty nice suitcase. It's definitely pretty cool. I like finding stuff like this. This is the stuff I look for that I hope's left behind. Sadly, there's never too much of anything like this, but when you find little stuff like this, that makes like it makes it worth the trip. So I think that's pretty much everything for the inside of the house. We're gonna walk out and see if we can find anything else. So I think I'm just gonna get more shots of the outside and then wrap this video up. Uh, I think there's a guest house maybe we can explore. I'm not sure if we can get in or not. I guess we're gonna have to find out though. So we're just walking out, and as I'm walking out, it says Kyle was here. And I actually didn't write that, which is just pretty creepy. <laughs> Guess there's another Kyle who uh, either works here or came here. So it's absolutely downpouring out, so hopefully my camera doesn't get too wet. But this looks like a little garden that used to be out back. It still has like some uh, sculptures and stuff left behind. All right guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm kind of bummed there wasn't furniture in there. I mean, besides a few cabinets and stuff we've seen. I wish there was more bedroom stuff, but either way, the house is just super cool. I mean, look at that. You don't really see houses like that anymore. So I'm just super pumped we got to explore what we got to explore. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on my post notifications so you get notified as soon as I post a video.